into the lion's den. For weeks, the mining minister, Susan Shibangu, has suffered a hail of brickbats from the press. This was a tense time for more awkward questions. Do your facts find, do a fact finding and investigation before you ask questions, because you mix issues. That's why your stories are, not, are, are, are never appropriately uh, reflecting the truth. This was the response. The ministry wants an overhaul. It's going to suspend prospecting licenses for six months while it cleans house. It is also rewriting the MPRDA, the act that governs the issue of mining licenses with a view to promoting black empowerment. It's going to be sent back to the lawmakers. It is an act when you implement, you will discover that there are weaknesses which get identified because it's fairly new. It's not an old act. We don't have precedents which we can learn from. So some of the gaps and the challenges we have seen and some of you have um, uh, pronounced on, it's because uh, it's a fairly new. The aim is to tweak uh, current legislation and I'm not sure at this stage uh, whether that will uh, not end up be uh, adding to the uh, current uh, uncertainty. But. Uh, We'll have, a look, uh, we'll have to look at how the market reacts to this, but uh, I think uh, it's definitely a step in the right direction. These are among the reasons why. Both the Arcelor Kumba story and the Lonmin controversy, which are both in court, raise questions about the security of tenure. Put more simply, how could a company from outside gain prospecting rights at a place where another company is already mining? The ministry says the rewritten bill will tackle these issues. Then there was the inevitable question about whether South African mines were to be nationalized. The, na the nationalization. <laughs> no. Nationalization. I think I've made my views in the past clearly. It's not a government policy, nor an ANC policy. It is an issue which is discussed currently, and I must indicate. You've been writing about this. The Youth League has tabled its views for discussion at the ANC and GC. It's there for discussion. So let's all wait for the uh, ANC and GC process, which then will indicate where do we go? You know, we're part of a global village. Uh, village. Uh, we are competing for the same international capital, and uh, they have to take a, a very responsible um, decision and uh, let's hope they do. The government also promised to crack down on any corruption while it carries out its legislative overhaul. The ministry will send its recommendations for amendments to the Act to Cabinet soon. It's hoped it will be debated in Parliament before the end of the year. Now the government has to walk a thin line between tightening up the Act and over-regulation.